Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Finally, Zack Snyder is not holding back about his frustration for Warner Brothers. Um, he's been more candid lately, but this just takes the cake. So, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new, thank you for checking us out. And don't forget to check out the links in the description. But, Zack Snyder was on the Late Show, Stephen Colbert, last night. And there was a six minute skit. It was really cool, it was fun. As you see in the background on this clip right here, Zack Snyder's um, A Late Show. So it was this really cool six minute skit. I'm not gonna play the whole skit, but if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you watch it. Um, where they kind of just made it like, Zack took over the show, he directed an episode. I think he actually directed the episode, but um, it was like, you know, they made it really over the top and like, you know, I'll play the intro that they made for this show, which was pretty cool. It was like Zack Snyder style and talking about like stunts and slow-mos and having creative freedom. And it was just, it was a really cool, fun, hilarious skit. And he was also promoting Army of the Dead, so they added some of that stuff in there. But of course, I think the best part was this right here. And um, I don't think, I don't think I need to um, really say anything. It kind of just speaks for itself. Let's listen. <laughs> Suck it, Warner Brothers. Suck it. Uh, wow, uh, his words, not mine. But uh, yeah, suck it, Warner Brothers. How long have we been wanting to hear something like that from Zach? Not in a disrespectful manner, but like, just let it out. I'm sure privately this is how he feels. And obviously it was a scripted sketch, but like, you know, a skit. But still, it's obviously there's a grain of truth to it. You know, even if he doesn't want to say that on his own. Gold, just pure gold. Yes, thank you, Stephen Colbert. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and of course, knowing, you know, us Snyder fans, it started a hashtag. Um, so this was happening last night. You know, everyone was tweeting hashtag suck at Warner Brothers. And then here's the intro um, that they made for it. I think there's just a, a GIF I could find, a GIF, whatever I say GIF. We could find of it instead of the whole, um, well, I'll just pause it. That's fine. Um, the intro that they made, which was pretty cool to make it more of like Zach's style. Um, and also, you know, Stephen Colbert said, uh, thank you to Zack Snyder for making time to direct an episode. We present to you the late show, The Snyder Cut, hashtag LSSC. So that's pretty cool that they did that. Um, here's the intro they made that was supposed to be in like Snyder's style. Starts out the regular, you know, way that the show starts. <laughs> it's rain, lightning, dark clouds with, you know, the font changes and it says The Snyder Cut. So. <laughs> that was a lot of fun but like I said I'm not going to play the whole skit um, but if you haven't watched it I highly recommend you watch it uh, yeah and of course that started hashtag suck at Warner Brothers again like I said so I'm sure people you know have their things to say about it because it's Zach and it's the Snyder fans but I for one am relieved and happy to finally just see him break free of this nonsense with Warner Brothers I love how articles have been calling his Netflix his new home and, you know, I had said a, week, a while back that I only want the Snyderverse to be restored. I'm always going to support re hashtag restore the Snyderverse and all of that. But I only want that to happen if it's in the right circumstances. You know, if Toby, Emmerich, and Sarnoff, if all of those people are gone and he's able to have the creative freedom and, you know, not just be bombarded with why this? Why are you doing that? Don't do it like this. Don't do it like that having babysitters on set, having constant, you know, butting heads and just push and pull and this tug of war between him and the studio. If he can have the, if it's the right circumstances, the circumstances that he, his cast and his crew deserve, then yes, I want the Snyderverse to be restored. If it's not that, then no, stay at Netflix or whatever, because, you know, he's obviously had the complete opposite experience there and that's refreshing, you know, for him. I can't even imagine. It's refreshing for us as the fans. And that's why, like, when people I see tweeting about, like, 
comparing it to like a friend or a family member or something like leaving, finally leaving and getting free of an re abusive relationship and finding someone that's like the total opposite. That's kind of how this is. <laughs> that's what this is like, <laughs> you know. Um, so I'm very happy for him. I love that Netflix has been promoting the heck out of Army of the Dead. It's number one worldwide on Netflix. They are promoting it. They're supporting it. They're hyped about it. You know, they've advertised it like crazy. They've been doing these Snyder School videos on the Netflix Film Club YouTube channel. If you haven't watched those, I recommend you watch those too. Um, I think there's been two so far, and I think there's going to be a total of four, if I'm not mistaken. Different, you know, segments of Zach talking about different aspects of making a movie and making his movies. Um, there's been one about the title sequence, and then the one I watched today was a, that was released today was about stunts and oh no not just well they talked to him and the stunt person but it was more about like the cinematography aspect of making a movie so those are on the netflix film netflix film club youtube channel they're called snyder school so it just goes to show and to, i mean netflix has been tweeting about it um that army of the dead is number one worldwide and it's just awesome it's awesome to see oh yeah new uh, emojis for the hashtags um, it's just awesome to see the level of support that they've been showing for Zach. Yeah, film school. I mean, Snyder School. Um, so I am so happy to see it. And HBO Max is also coming to... Um, how many more? Let me see. HBO Max is going to be launched in 39 more territories on June 29th, including most major Latin American countries and the Caribbean. So that's big news for the Snyder Cut. That's awesome. I think they've been, I think those parts, those territories in Latin America have been able to watch a video on demand and things like that. But having HBO, I think, but having HBO Max um, is just going to boost it even more, Zack Snyder's Justice League, on HBO Max. Not that we're going to get numbers from HBO Max. I'm sure we'll get third party numbers again from you know these parts these other territories in latin america once it's uh, released like we have been and um from other places but the latin america um market is a huge i mean that that's a big chunk of the fan base right there for zach and his movie so i'm very happy about that but thank you guys for watching um yeah really happy to see zach have some fun on the late show and again it's just a skit don't take it so seriously, but obviously I think it was probably a relief for him to kind of say something out loud <laughs> for once um, in regards to his frustration and how candid he's been lately about their um, struggles with the studio. So anyway, um, check out the channel for any videos you might have missed. Um, thank you guys for the support. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you're new and you enjoyed my video. So thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you next time.